Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave, and I'm back with more reactions with an ex super happy to get into another episode of One Piece. This time we're on episode 980. I don't think I gave the episode number last time. Sorry, I'm catching up. I'm not, I'm not trying to rush, but I'm trying to rush. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to enjoy myself while I catch up, you know what I mean? So that said, this episode is... Um, I actually, I won't give the title because some of you might not have seen it. I have read the manga, so no real spoilers for me here. Um, although sometimes they add new things and it's really interesting, so I've been enjoying it. As always, remember to support the original content creator, the original content creator, Ichida Oda, the goat of the goat, the god. Because he deserves it. He made a great, long-lasting series that has given so much joy to a lot of people. And uh, if we want him to finish it we should probably pay him some decent money and you know check it out on crunchyroll or wherever else it's published and then read the manga and shonen jump or wherever else it's published and yeah if you like us like comment subscribe check out all the other stuff and we won't bore you too much more with the intro details um we're gonna get into it i always start from here and i don't do intros um because Well, mostly because it's all backlog up until that card. It's all re re recap and shit. Da da da. <coughs> Wait. I really don't like him. I never really liked him either. It's funny because usually that should be kind of a semi-sexually suggestive scene. Oh, nice. Good job, Kumamatsu. Nice slices. But in that situation with Shinobu, it's just like not at all. <laughs> and maybe I'm just tripping. It just reminds me of old uh, Ninja Scroll, I think. Yeah, she could see him. Yeah, and he can fly. Then he lays down the uh, the rain. Oh shit! Right, Luffy's an idiot. Not that hard for you, buddy. Uh oh, yeah, he doesn't like that though. He's not a happy guy about betrayal. In, in the real sense. I think, yeah, they are making this bigger than it was. Which I don't mind. Because I, I thought... It, once again, I felt like out of all of the arcs, Wano, to me, always felt the most rushed. That's why it's not my favorite or even close. Wano's probably like five. I mean, I'm enjoying the shit out of it. Don't get me wrong. I It's good. But in, like, terms of overall comp. <coughs> The manga, at least, was more rushed. The The anime's actually been filling it in pretty good. He's good enough to block Sanji, which is pretty good. Right, he turns his whole hair into a paintbrush. It's weird. When does he practice this shit? And then some of them are just fancy names, but a lot of the attacks, like all of Zoro's attacks are double entendres. They've been doing better about displaying damage too, like when people get hit by weapons and stuff. I feel like they've been doing so good on like blood and piercing and stuff. Not so much when Sanji got hit, but he's tougher. Frankie too, obviously. Like, I don't mind as much, because Momo's pretty young. I think Momo's like 10 or some shit. Like, he really isn't yet a warrior's age. They really are good words. 
This is a good one. Yeah! Momonosuke-sama! Momonosuke-sama! God, his eyes! Oh, God! Alright, that's a little better, but Jesus! That is bad. God, sorry guys, I am so sick. Look at his tears falling off the back of the thing. Ah, uh, yes, the skull-shaped island of Onigashima. There's no way we're at the end, right? That's midway. Yeah, midway. I was like... Damn, they really do got, like, artillery and cannons. It's so interesting, the levels of technology, because... Because the technology ranges from very Stone Age, barbaric, and even prehistoric up to future technology like Frankie deals and Vegapunk deal with like lasers, genetic modification, and shit like that. I guess future, but present future. The, the littest, the biggest boy, the big boy fish. It's, it's thick, thick fish daddy. That's that's my nickname for uh for Jim Boy Jim Bay. Oh yeah, I should I shouldn't have said anything, but if you can't tell by the silhouette, that's on you. Get him, thick fish daddy. Maybe the go why she's so depressing. It's so great. Is killing them. That sounds more peaceful than this. A, a confirmed Jinbei beating people up sounds worse than the ghost of a dead baby killing people or a drowned baby killing people I was born in the fishman district the kingdom of Ryugu the country in the deep sea I gave my seniors around the world so much trouble but now I'm going to exchange a cup of sake with boss straw hat I am merely a fledgling. God, it's such a good name, too. Fuck, man. This whole thing was so lit back to back, too. You gotta understand in the manga. I'll, I'll explain after this. 438, which is his bounty. That, by the way, was his bounty. I believe, I can't remember, I'll have to go double check it, but I believe his bounty has not changed since before Impel Down. That was his bounty before he was, I believe, uh, Shichibukai, or whatever, Warlord of the Sea. I'll have to double check at some point, and like I said, I gotta reread the whole series, it's gonna be a fun two days. Um, I request your continued support, I might watch that again, it's so cool, I love Jinbei. I gave my seniors around the world. I want to do it from, yeah. But yeah, his 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 uh bounty should probably be more close. It should be closer to the range of a Billy at this point. I think. If I had to like more measure some people's and not once again, not even off strength, just off feats, because I don't think he got any bumps from those events. Let alone the events with Big Mom and all this other stuff. And I request your continued support. The smile. Do, 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 do. That was real dope. I'm not gonna lie. I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. Um, once again, you gotta understand if you read the manga, you would understand that 
the litness of the rolls didn't stop coming. You got to the end right of the flashback and came back uh, from the whole Odin story, emotional and, and reprise, and you got right to the scene, basically. I mean, you had a little of the whole, like, planning of day, but you basically got right to the beach scene where it's just like, boom, and then Conjuro... They go out and, you know, all emotional Conjuro reveals for the first time that he's the traitor. And it's super, it's a huge reveal. And, like, obviously we kind of knew it was coming. There was only so many options, once again. If you got to, if you've read the series and did the math carefully, you could see that there was, like, two options or three options. So everyone knew, basically, that Conjuro was the betrayer. But the reason, etc., was not, right, revealed until that last minute of him actually being a Kurizumi. And then right after that, basically, once the the Animal Kingdom pirates come in and start doing destruction, we get the reveal of Dendro. That reveal doesn't happen until after Conjuro's reveal. And you get the whole Dendro turning into Kiyoshiro thing and him turning on the, you know, enemy pirates and stuff. And so you got to understand that it really was huge to then once again roll right into Jinbei showing back up after several dozens or if not a hundred probably i don't i don't remember like i remember he was obviously there at the end of the big mom saga which i think ended around eight or nine hundred and he doesn't show up again until almost chapter thousand so it's it's a hundred episodes where you just have no fucking idea what's up with jinbei and he shows back up right then um and once again, it makes a lot of sense in a lot of ways. I can't remember how they explained how he got there. I don't know if he has a paper or whatever. But I do remember uh, that it was just this huge just roll. Once again, every episode or every chapter or so was or two was this huge just mind-shattering kind of reveal. Or not mind-shattering maybe, but like because like the, the, the Dendro one was like mind-shattering or the one with uh, – killer was was huge right those were big ones and though some people had predicted them or gotten close it was still a huge thing where there was no confirmation in that it was like what's going on and these were more hype moments right like you had these reveal moments that were kind of mind-bending and then also these hype moments where it was like look this is where the story is taking a turn where we're making some jumps but once again i don't like to like dribble on too long i know you guys uh, you know, may not enjoy hearing me just blah, 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 blah all day about One Piece. Or maybe you do, because I know I, I could talk about it with people forever and listen to people talk about it. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this episode, tune in, because once again, I'm going to try to get these all released correctly. We'll see how it goes. But we're going to be releasing these and then obviously watching episode, what is it, 981 coming up next week or in a couple of days because it's like two days before that episode. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Remember, support the original content creator. It's Yeda Oda, the goat of the god. He is the one, the only. And, uh, you know, he's a funny guy. I, I think he's pretty funny. So we should support him and send him money and buy his stuff. Uh, whether it's the anime or the manga. If you liked us, like, comment, subscribe. Do all the great things you do like to do. And if you didn't, just, you know, let me